what is leukemia so rather than memorizing it in a cliched way let us try to understand the concept in a step by step manner so the first thing whenever you are reading a disease you have to put it under a an umbrella umbrella means is it an inflammatory disease is it a degenerative disease is it a neoplastic disease for example uh chronic cholecystitis is an inflammatory disease pneumonia is an inflammatory disease alzheimer disease is a neurodegenerative disease similarly this disease which i am going to talk about today that is leukemia is a neoplastic disease it's a neoplastic process it's a tumor so first it's a tumor and another similar sounding term is used that is called leukamoid reaction leukamoid anything ending with yd means looking like that that leukamoid reaction is a non neoplastic disease process i'll be discussing leukamoid reaction in a separate session but just uh, for your information that leukemia is a neoplastic disease process leukamoid reaction is a non neoplastic disease process now leukemia is a tumor is a we know it's a neoplasm where does this neoplasm arise obviously we know papillary carcinoma of thyroid arise from thyroid we know hepatocellular carcinoma arise from liver but where does leukemia arise leukemia arise from bone marrow but their manifestation later can be seen in peripheral blood so it's a we know till now that this is a neoplasm it's a tumor which arise from the bone marrow now we also know that the tumor can be of two types benign or malignant please please remember that leukemia by default is always always a malignant neoplasm or cancer it's a malignant neoplasm it's a malignant tumor it's never a benign tumor so now we know that this is a tumor it's a neoplasm it's a malignant neoplasm it arises from the bone marrow so the next question would be that who actually become tumorous in this leukemia which cell actually become tumorous which cell become cancerous in this condition the answer is that this is hematopoietic progenitor cells hematopoietic progenitor cells means that normally in the peripheral blood we see lot of mature cells mature rbcs mature wbcs and all these things but actually their precursor stage they spent their early childhood they spent in the bone marrow these are usually called precursor cells precursor stages so hematopoietic precursor cells uh they which reside in the bone marrow they become cancerous in the leukemia so now actually we know who become cancerous in the leukemia hematopoietic precursor cells where it become cancerous in the bone marrow and how it becomes cancerous you obviously usually due to some genetic alteration and the mutation i'll be discussing them in a separate session so now we know that what is leukemia leukemia is a neoplasm is a malignant neoplasm it's a malignant tumor which arises from the bone marrow and this is a malignant tumor of hematopoietic precursor cells that is a basic idea the basic introduction that you need to know about the leukemia and that's why that actually this tumor arises from the bone marrow that's why usually these tumor cells they rapidly replace bone marrow so for example acute leukemia you know already that they typically present with bone marrow failure why because this tumor cells actually replace the normal cell population normal rbc precursors normal wbc precursors normal platelet precursor which is megakaryocyte that's why in the peripheral blood we don't get normal rbc we get anemia we get normal wbc normal neutrophil cannot be seen neutropenia we get thrombocytopenia that is a lack of platelet so again the key concept which i mentioned i'm telling you that leukemia is nothing but a malignancy a malignant neoplasm a malignant tumor of hematopoietic precursor cells it arises from the bone marrow and later the cells can trickle down into the peripheral blood i would continue with the discussion on the leukemia in the coming instant lecture session also thank you